Welcome back to Making the Madness on YouTube. Uh, the Ohio Valley Conference has been dominated by Belmont, but Nick Muzinski is out. He could return. He could return. We don't know yet. He has been out the past two games, and Belmont has lost both those games. The field, it's up for grabs. The Ohio Valley Conference Championship, it always delivers. Uh, it should deliver once again this year. It should be a fun tournament as it always is. Uh, we're going to go game by game, make our picks for it. Uh, Sean, what, what's your re- first thoughts here on the Ohio Valley Conference? Yeah, I mean, I had Austin Key winning the Ohio Valley coming into the season. Obviously, that hasn't lived up to what it should have been because Austin Key is a 60. They've dropped some games, but they played Belmont tight. With the healthy Belmont, they played him tight. They've beaten Murray State, who's also really struggling this season. But I think this league is just so up for grabs. I think anybody can win this league. Yeah, and especially if Musinski isn't healthy, uh, I think Belmont's a very, very vulnerable team. Uh, and you look at this league, like Murray State has a lot of talent. Uh, they haven't played well this year, but like they have talent. They're always tough to beat. Uh, Austin P. they have, you know, you can make a very good argument. They have the best player on the court. Uh, in Terry Taylor, they can uh-huh. certainly win. Eastern Kentucky, Moorhead State, those two teams have been playing really well this year. Like, there's a lot of options for who wins uh, this conference championship, and it certainly should be fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's get into it, I guess. All right, first game, Belmont versus SIU Edwardsville. I Like, even if Muzinski isn't playing, I just think they're going to win this game, and Look, it's a, I guess it's a Wednesday game, uh, so maybe they could even sit him out for this game, I think, and still probably get away with that. Uh, so give me Belmont. Yeah, SIUE's played, let me see here, one, two, three. They played like 12 games in the month of February, so you have to imagine that they're pretty worn out right now. They're already not a very good team. Uh, they do have Sid Wilson, former UConn forward. He's there. Mike Adewumi is a pretty solid player. I just don't love this uh, SIU team at all, though. And so I'm certainly going to go with Belmont here pretty easily, with or without Musinski. Yeah. Uh, next game, Jacksonville State versus Murray State. Uh, Murray State's the five seed. I like Murray State, though, here. I just think they're, in terms of talent, I think they have a little bit more of it. Uh, they haven't been playing all that great this year. Uh 10 and 10 in league play, 13, 12 overall. But uh, you look at this team, uh, KJ Williams has really taken a step forward. Uh, they got Tevin Brown. Uh, I just think that one two punch is going to be tough to beat. And their team, yeah, they've struggled this regular season. They know what they're doing in March. Give me Murray State. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. This is a pretty even matchup because if you look at Ken Palm, he has Murray State 159th in the country and Jacksonville State 160. So they're right there. Looking at the two teams based on what I've seen this season, Brandon Huffman, the North Carolina transfer big man, he's having a pretty good season. Uh, then you have a guy like Gary and Adams who can really go get buckets. Jalen Finch is a talented shooter. So is Damari King. But when you look at it, I trust the coaching and the style of Matt McMahon's racers with KJ Williams, Chico Carter, and Tevin Brown leading the charge, Juice Hill gets things done to DeMond Robinson also. Give me Matt McMahon's Murray State Racers to advance. All right. The next matchup, it is Eastern Kentucky versus Austin P. Uh, you just, you can't go against Terry Taylor. Like, they've struggled this season. Uh, only 10-10 league play. 14-12 on the season. But at the end of the day, uh, they have Terry Taylor. They have Jordan Ebbs. They have Mike Peake. Like, yeah, they, they may have struggled in the regular season. You just you can't go against Terry Taylor. No, I mean, Terry Taylor is one of the best players in the entire country. Jordan Adams has struggled this year, but I think he's going to turn it around. Carlos Paez gets buckets. Uh, Eastern Kentucky has two of the better uh, mid, uh, mid-major freshmen in the country, and Kurt Lewis and Wendell Green. I like Michael Moreno a lot. I think that A.W. Hamilton's building something really good at Eastern Kentucky, but I think the experience of Austin P will lead them to victory here. All right. Uh, 
Now the next matchup, it is Moorhead State versus uh, Southeast Missouri. I, I'm taking Moorhead State. Uh, Jehone Broom, uh, Devon Carter, that's a really good uh, one-two punch. Uh, especially Broom inside is tough to play against. Yeah, it, like I think Moorhead State is good enough to win this league. I don't know if they mm-hmm. will, uh, but like... Overall, they go 17-3 and three in league play. They certainly look the part of a team that can win. They just beat Belmont in overtime. No Nate Muzinski, but uh, yeah, I, I'll take Moorhead State to win this game. Yeah, I like Moorhead State a lot. I mean, this is a really talented team. Johnny Broom, obviously, as a freshman. Skylar Potter coming in is having a very good season uh, coming in from Wright State prior. And then you have the Coopers, Talon Cooper and Devon Cooper. I think both are going to have big games in this one. I think that uh, Moorhead State will win. All right. Uh, have we picked the same team in every game? We have, yeah. That'll change. Right. Murray State versus Belmont. Give me Belmont. Uh I think Muzinski probably is back by this game. Uh, I think he might sit out versus SIUE, but uh, chips are on the line. It's the semifinals. You get an additional two days of rest. Uh, I think he'll be back against Murray State, and I think he will show out. Uh, Belmont will show out as a team, and they'll get this win. So give me Belmont advancing to the championship. Uh, Yeah, I'll go Belmont too. All right, that leaves us Moorhead State versus Terry Taylor. Moorhead State, excellent defensive team. Uh, they they matched up a couple times in the regular season. He had an overtime game earlier this year. Uh, actually, that was the only game they played this season. But it went to overtime. Moorhead State got the better of them. It was also on their home court. Uh, this is a neutral court game. You know where I'm going. It's Terry Taylor time. He's no, taking right now. Terry Taylor. Austin P. Austin P. To the championship. So it, we both we both have Belmont versus Austin P. Do do you like Austin P. To up in Belmont? I do. I think that Terry Taylor has experienced heartbreak. I I spoke with him before the season. And he was talking about how bad he wants to play in the NCAA tournament this season. He wants it very badly. He will do whatever it takes to get there. Give me the govs to win the OVC. All right. Uh, this is where we finally defer. We wait till the championship. I like Belmont. Uh, they've just been the complete team this entire season. Yeah, they've lost a couple games down the stretch, but they were also without their best player in those games. Uh it's a team, they play really well together. Uh, everyone can score. I just think they're they're built to win uh, this conference championship. So give me give me Belmont. You like Austin P. Uh, one of us could be right. Uh, at least one of us is guaranteed to be wrong. That's true. All right. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to Making the Madness. We will be coming back uh, with some uh, bracket predictions similar to this. So stay tuned.